what you need. A bowl of water, a sewing needle, liquid soap, and two small squares of bathroom tissue. After you filled the bowl with water, place the needle on top of the bathroom tissue square and place it gently on the water. Observe how the bathroom tissue becomes saturated with water and within a few minutes sinks to the bottom. Notice the needle is still floating. Remove the soggy bathroom tissue and sewing needle from the bowl of water. Add a few drops of liquid soap to the water and stir with your fingers. Carefully place the second square of bathroom tissue and needle on top of the wall. Observe that now, when the bathroom tissue sinks, the needle sinks too. Why do you think this happens? The soap reduces the water surface tension so that the water can no longer support the needle. This is why soap works so effectively to clean. Surface tension as you saw in the preceding video is the elastic force at the surface of a liquid and it's the force that when you fill a glass to the very brim allows the liquid to go above the brim of the glass slightly and almost look like it should fall off the edges but it doesn't I know everybody in here has poured a soda and had that happen um, surface tension is what keeps the liquid in the glass. Or in the preceding video, surface tension was what kept the needle afloat prior to the addition of the soap. Once the soap was added, the intermolecular forces of the water were disrupted, the hydrogen bonds, and no longer were strong enough to keep the needle afloat and it sank as well so what is this so what is this property called surface tension how does it arise well it has to do with the type of bonding that occurs at the surface versus the main bulk or body of the liquid if we're looking at the main surface of the liquid what we have here is bonds that are forming directly below and to the right and left but there are no bonds above to cancel the bonds below so here this red molecule only has a net downward force the left and right cancels so what that does is it gives this molecule a tendency to want to stay down until the liquid then overflows, breaking the force of surface tension. A molecule like this yellow molecule in the bulk of the liquid is going to have forces all around and thereby canceling each other so uh, it won't be as... Uh, there won't be a net force in a, any direction with this type of molecule. So it's just the IM forces that would be dictating movement here. That's clarified surface tension. You should also note that if you increase the intermolecular force, the surface tension gets higher. So if you have um, a liquid like oil it's higher surface tension than water that's basically it when it comes to surface tension make sure you check out the related video of cohesion versus adhesion two terms that relate to surface tension that will be covered in a different video i hope i've cleared up any doubts that you might have 
as always, practice, practice, practice. Thank you and have a nice day.